person. It's all about being able to see the individual more transparently and being able to, like a, what do you call it, Rubik's Cube? Sort of like, oh, oh, wait a second, this is how it works. Click, and then all the colors are clear, they're aligned, they're transparent. It's like unlocking and sort of almost, you could say, eliminating all these sort of dark spots in your energy field that have been there out of confusion and ignorance and just sort of removing that or transforming that into light so that you're unlocking the individual level so that that awareness that you are can move freely as love light rather than as a person believing in lack and separation. And then the flow happens naturally, the integration happens naturally because it's it wants to happen naturally. It wants to already be there. There is that urge for the love light trueness of your being to shine through. That's what everybody feels as the calling for spirituality, for awakening, is something wants to come through. It's not even so much that it wants to go all the way back to infinity and stay there. That's not so much the, what we experience as an individual, sorry, as a spiritual uh, pool. What we experience as that calling for being home ultimately is to unlock the individual to be an expression of the love light that it already knows it is. That which urges us to go home already knows itself. So it wants us to open up so that we can become a vessel of that clarity, awareness, love light. And then you'll find, well, if you're having difficulties with this transitional period, and are you here the second week? Um, but what may help you is to, to take it real, easy in terms of going back into your desires and instead of going back into your specific desires for life and like okay i would really love that car this kind of house or that those kind of desires that are your preferences and that you enjoy and that resonate with you start at the most profound shall we say core of your what makes you an individual being why are you here start serving at that level to yourself meaning what is that love light desire underneath all the other desires? What if you could only do one thing in this world, what would it be? Would it really be to get that house you want? And there's nothing wrong with that. But wouldn't it be something more along the lines of sharing love light, being love light to the fullest of your ability, and being in bliss and sharing that lightness, that love, something along those lines? Yeah, it's nothing about a thing. Right. There's no things. It's so. Hence, it was easy when I wanted things because that's not that challenging to manifest because it is more of this bigger vision of like transforming global consciousness or something. Right. Um, and then it's sort of like, so there's the, the, there's the, the flowing over of that and then there's the question of like, what's the practical application? Mm -hmm. um, and that's the place where I find... Um, not yeah. always knowing exactly yeah. what's Yeah, and that's totally fine. Be really gentle with yourself on that, in that stage. Don't try to like, okay, I have to be like this. Again, remember that the success, success is not measured in terms of what you are able to manifest. What did I read the other day? I read a fun sentence somewhere. It said something like, I'm paraphrasing, the level of manifestation it's a very, very, very minimal part. Or it, it said something like, manifest level barely registers on the instruments of spiritual, spiritual something like advancement or evolution. So the measurements of the devices, the instruments that measure spiritual evolution, what you manifest actually, like physically speaking, hardly registers on that. It's all about what happens to you on a state of being, what lessons you extract from that. doesn't mean that a real part of that is not to express yourself fully, but it's about the expression, whether or not that succeeds in any way physically. It's about the intention. It's about your energy. It's about your integrity. It's about your desire for love, light, bliss, to be more love, light, bliss, and to share more love, light, bliss in the name of, I would almost say, the infinite one in honor of, in love of, the infinity that is all that is. And I think that's what I've been feeling, but then the, I guess then the mind wants to come in and go, like, that feels right, that feels true, and then the mind says, but, you know, like, there are still practical aspects of life that need to be, yeah. be so taken I, care of, and they, I think they are actually in the moment, it's just 
um, there's a bit of a question in the mind. You know, I think some of it's uh -huh. just the mind saying. I think so. You know, like what about the future? And then I go, well, just let's just focus on the now. Pretty much, I just bring the awareness. You'd be surprised back how fully you can purely, if that's a period that resonates for you, that's in honor of your process where you're at. How easily it, how easy it is to take time out and completely spend time just relaxing and doing nothing for a while and just doing whatever you want, like watching my videos or something silly like that, where you, right? Where you just emerge yourself in the teachings that inspire you and it's a, a retreat you take for yourself and you'd be surprised how little attention is required to place on top of logistical things like money and rent and kids and partner and career. There's always a way. And even when you are working, you can still shift that focus. Even when you are dealing with your kids, you can still shift that focus to the best of your ability. And when you don't do anything, you'd be surprised how things take care of themselves. And again, who cares really ultimately if you don't manifest anything that is, that flows or even if your life is a mess, I'm not recommending it or something, but I mean, ultimately what's most important is that you feel in integrity with your inner self. That's the most important. And yes, it's a lot of fun to be able to create and to be able to flow more smoothly and to bring your confidence and your light love level into creation and to be able to manifest more smoothly. And all of that will happen naturally anyway. But what's more important is that you honor where you're at. And if that means time out and things just sort of falling by the wayside, totally beautiful. So uh, something else just came to mind, because I think part of, because I have I've given myself pretty much like nine years. I've been nine years just like magically not really working a lot, except I do some teaching but, and some coaching. But really, I've given myself like a lot of space to right. wa awaken, and it's happening, and it great. feels great. Um, but I think there's also a part of um, my purpose where, you know, that I feel is about sh serving, right? Helping others. Yes. All of your purposes and, um, are and about I've been, serving. You know, like I was a midwife for 20 years and, and so there's a big sense of being of service to others. Yeah. And I think partly um, giving myself so much space, it feels like, well, is that, you know, how much am I serving others? So there's a little yeah. bit of a thing there, like what's the again, balance don't, between... Again, don't measure your success or your evolution or your natural embodiment or progression, whatever, all those words are sort of nasty, progression, advancement. But you know, <laughs> I don't have a good word for it right now, but you know what I mean. It's just like your expansion, your involvement, right? So all of these things are, again, they're measured by how, how much you nurture your core intention, your core desire, which is to be more of love light in the face of the one infinite creator and to share more of that one love light, right? So if you are in that intention, if that means you need time to work on yourself, that is completely in service to others. Because most service is done invisibly and non-physically anyway. And you contribute by simply lightening up yourself. When you lighten up yourself, you lighten up the planet, you lighten up the collective. And nobody may consciously ever know that you helped them, but somebody in China that is 16 years old and going through some kind of hard experience that you went through when you were 16 years old, now that you have forgiven that in yourself, and that vibration may be so close in alignment to the theme they are exploring, but you have now enlightened that frequency and so they will have less of a hard time, they will more easily have access to the answer within this collective agreement. So you're serving all the time. If you've gone through a lot of stuff, well, congratulations and thank you for your service. That feels exactly like what I needed to hear, so thank you. Awesome. Thank you.